Hi, and thanks for joining me again in the Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we teach you techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. In this particular tutorial, we are going to discuss the image trace feature in Adobe Illustrator. Now, in previous versions, it used to be called Live Trace. There are subtle differences, but we are not going to cover Live Trace. We are only going to cover Image Trace. If you do follow along, you can pretty much get the gist of how you manipulate Live Trace. So, let's start. You want to bring a piece of art out onto your artboard. So right now I have a piece that I actually did as a tribute to Prince when he passed away. This was created in another program and the benefit of that is it's going to show you how to utilize our image trace function in order to recreate this. Now the purpose of the function is to recreate it in vector art so that way it's scalable. You don't want bitmap art because if you scale it of course it's going to lose quality, there's degradation, there's pixelation so we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this and we are going to recreate this piece. Now I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to show you one time recreating it at two different variations. I'm going to show you at a high color full photo fidelity and I'm going to show you at three color and then you'll get the gist between the differences of the options that you have and how to manipulate them as we go through it. So the first one we're going to cover is the one that takes the longest and I'll probably cut out the loading time. Uh, you select your artwork that's on the actual artboard. If you look once you do that in your panel you get some new options and one of the options is image trace. Now on the right hand side of image trace you have a drop down arrow and these are actually your presets. You have high fidelity photo, low fidelity photo, 3, 6, and 16 colors, shades of gray, black and white logo, sketched art, silhouettes, line art, and technical drawing and of course you have your default option. Now as you manipulate these or you change them the custom option will actually highlight because you are creating a custom image trace. So we're going to select high fidelity photo and as the load time begins, I'm actually going to cut that out and you'll see the finished product. Okay, and now that we have our image trace done, if we zoom in, it almost looks like if nothing was changed, but if we zoom in, we can actually see that there are differences. There's a huge change in the colors that are here. It's not as smooth of a gradation. They're actually blocked out in various colors and if I were to expand this I could then edit each of these individual colors. But if you zoom out you almost don't notice the difference. So that's the benefit of the high fidelity photo option. Now we're gonna go down and we're gonna actually change this. Let's go back to our preset and we're going to go to three colors. And when we change it to three colors it's gonna go a little bit faster now that we have our three color option you'll notice we have a nice almost pop artish look to our actual artwork and this shows that it limits the color palette to three colors it has to figure out on its own which three colors to utilize and it figures out which ones are the primary colors that are used in the piece so we have gold we have purple obviously and we have black so these are the colors that make up and comprise the piece and if we wanted to expand this to edit the colors, all we have to do is highlight it, make sure it's highlighted, click the expand button. When you do that, now you can go in and you can select and edit these colors. If I want to, let's say, get rid of all the gold, I can go select, same, fill color, and I can click delete, and now it's gone. And now I only have the purple and the black, and I can actually pull and manipulate any other color behind that art that I want to now that that's cut out. So I can change it to just about anything. And that's the benefit of utilizing it in that manner. Now, let's go back. Let's take away what we just did and before we expanded it. Now we're back at our live trace. Now that we have our live trace again, what we want to make sure we do is we want to show you how the options work. So we're going to select this and next to our original preset box we're going to click this option box. It's the image trace panel and that brings this nice little panel up and whenever you have an image trace selected that has not been expanded you get these options. So we have our presets which we already know about and we can change it to any of those. We have our tracing result. What this is is it shows us what we are going to look at on the actual artboard. So right now we're seeing the result of hitting the image trace. 
If we wanted to, we could see the result with outlines. We could just see it with outlines, outlines with the source image, which is the original image, or just the source image alone. Or if we click the icon on the right-hand side and we hold it, it shows us the original image versus the remake. We can change our color modes, color, grayscale, black and white. And we can also change the palette that we're using. So automatic, limited, full tone. Right now we're on limited because we're only using three colors, which is what our preset was. But we can change that from 2 to 30 as seen down here. But that's only because it's limited. If we wanted to, we can go to full tone and it'll give us an entirely different slider that allows us to go all the way up to 100. So if we go into the advanced section, usually this is not shown. You would have to click the drop down arrow. This allows us to change the pass for higher or tighter fitting or lower and looser fitting our corners so we can have higher value as it says here means more corners and then less obviously less corners and then we can change the actual noise that's on the piece itself and then we can change the method of fitting abutting it creates the cutout paths and then overlapping which creates stack paths so there are no open spaces in the actual overlapping where there are in abutting. If you look at the icon, it kind of explains that for you. And then you have options to snap curves to lines, ignore white space, which is often the case if you create a piece and you live trace or image trace. Uh, you'll notice that within the piece there will be areas that will be white, but you may not notice them at first because the background or your artboard is usually white. And in order to get rid of it, you would have to click this ignore white or you would have to expand it and then select all of the white colors and then delete them manually all right and then you have sub options when you select different things to create filled regions or strokes and then you can change the width and pixels that are max that it will recognize a stroke to be okay so these are the options that you have up top again these are just various presets with your tracing results that you can actually see okay so it's a fairly easy simple tool to use um, make sure that when you're you're fooling around with it you're getting as accurate a representation of the artwork that you're trying to get uh, if you do not know what you're doing you could severely just like alter the entire appearance of your artwork so if you're going for a specific look try to think what it would look like with a limited color palette if it's something you want to be more photorealistic whatever the case may be but of course the benefit is scalability once you expand it the ability to manipulate things in vector and not have to worry about gradations and large file sizes that's probably the most important thing okay so that's how you use the image trace option in adobe illustrator if you have any questions feel free to ask. You can find me online www.theonewillfocus.com or on all social media, specifically Instagram, at The One Will Focus, all spelled out T-H-E-O-N-E-W-I-L-L-F-O-C-U-S. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Take care.